Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video we are going to be going anting once again. Uh, this time we're going to be doing a lot of black lighting and also some high elevation anting uh, up in the mountains. But uh, before the video even began and while we were getting to our first spot for black lighting, uh, something interesting happened and that was the fact that a random cell decided to produce a tornado, which I thought was neat. I've been wanting to see a uh, tornado in Arizona for a little bit, so that was pretty awesome. And then uh, we got onto our first spot for black lighting, and here's what we found. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We have Acro Mermex Versicolor. These guys are leaf cutting ants. These are the dudes in the desert that cut up all the leaves. Here's their nest entrance that goes into their probably decently large nest. So they have a big old trail that just goes really, really far into that direction somewhere. You can see them carrying away, uh, you know, leaves and such on this trail going back home. Really cool. I missed the opportunity to record a trail of these before because I was busy recording a thunderstorm. So I'm happy that I'm able to re actually record a nest of them. That is so cool. We have another Acromermex colony. They're collecting all these leaves and over here... You can just see well, just piles of leaves just all along their trail. Where they're going is, I believe, to this tree here where they're collecting leaves somewhere. You don't see workers on the leaves, but they are collecting here. Right alongside it is a colony of Maricopa, Poconomermex Maricopa, right next to this. So you got Acro Trail and Maricopa. Really, really cool. The fact that they're able to just do this next to each other is definitely not fun. We have a very, very pretty Solenopsis Xyloni Queen here. Look at those colors, and she's really fat. Like, you can just see in between her, like, gaster segments, which I don't think is very normal. Perhaps she's been parasitized. I don't know. That'd suck if she is. But yeah. Really pretty cool. beetle. I really like this beetle. This beetle's pretty. This beetle is also pretty. I like this beetle. Not as pretty as this one, though. Therefore, this is my favorite beetle. Beetle. Craziness. Acromermex flight. For sure, definite Acromermex flight. I mean, there are queens literally just littering the road. You'll look directly up and you see these huge swarms of Acros. That is intense. Wow, that is so cool. You can literally witness them drop from the sky after mating. That is awesome. And this is where I proceeded to collect many a queens on video for a little bit of a you know, showcase. But these flights are absolutely insane. The swarms are just filled, just filled with queens and males. This is one of the flights that I really wanted to experience. And I am so, so happy that I was able to do so. Dude, Ada or Ada, Acro are insane. I'm sorry, but they're just like everywhere. You're making me jealous. You're making me jealous. True. I know they can't live up to Ada. Yeah, you just keep talking about it. <laughs> Man, just above us, you can see them just like falling out of the sky towards the camera. That is crazy. After the absolutely insane flight and an insane number of queens, we were able to pretty much end off the day on one of the highest notes possibly ever. This was the flight that we really wanted to hit and we were able to hit it perfectly. We are just so happy to see it. And uh, yeah, Pretty it's awesome. Random fiddly megacephala <clears throat> in the place that we're staying. Just kind of walking around. There's another megacephala right there. That's interesting. 
like the only invasive that I've seen this entire trip here in Arizona. They're not flying. Yeah. On top of a mountain, we're going up to, uh, you know, onto the peaks near Mount Lemmon because we're kind of curious as to uh, what's up here. There's probably not going to be ant flights. There might be. And even if they are, it's going to be like Lacius or something. It's going to feel, you know, we're going to be feeling a little bit of home. But there's Tucson in its glory of suburbia. And yeah, we're hoping to maybe find something interesting. Hopefully some cool laziness. Nice. Isn't this beautiful? Formica Queen. You can barely see her because it's very, very thin, but very, you know, humid in there. However, just look at that. I wasn't expecting to catch ourselves Campanatus vicinus, a species that I wasn't expecting to find. However, we did find, in fact, a colony. Small little colony. Uh... But yeah, that's awesome. I wasn't expecting to see these guys. These are huge. I didn't realize how big they were till just now. So, yeah. Very, very awesome ants. Here's another Formica queen that we just got. Uh, we are unsure as to what species it is. Could be Nava. Could be something else. My phone is really not liking to focus right now for some reason. But, I mean... Hey, another queen of Formica. Yeah, but we aren't sure what she is, but... I mean, another Formica queen. Awesome. Covered a big old chromato colony. Look at that. All those elates. Kind of everywhere. A little desert trash. They definitely do look cool in the wild. Got ourselves a colony of chromatogaster. It's a four queen colony. Again, my phone does not want to focus on it. There we go. Four queen colony. Really awesome. Got a couple workers. Got tons and tons of brood. So hopefully I can raise these guys up. But yeah, that is so, so cool. Look at this huge vicinus colony. Like, oh my lord. So many lights. These guys are so big. All those eggs, Queen was definitely up, but, I mean, you can see just how pretty these guys are. They're also a lot larger than what I thought they were. I was imagining the Sinus to be a little bit smaller. So, uh, yeah. Sweet. Lacey's New Niger or Sissions colony. We've been looking for Laceus the entire time we're here, so that is amazing. Arizona Laceus. One never have thought of... Well, I mean, we knew we were going to find them probably eventually. We've been trying to find them for oh my God, a little bit now. Hi. So we found another massive colony of Vicinus. Queen and everything, too. That is awesome. Look at all of that pupae. All of those elates, too. That is awesome. Man, these are a lot cooler than what I thought they were, honestly. They are insane. We're not going to keep this queen because, well, this is a large, mature colony. And uh, we already have one. So we're just going to quickly go ahead and let her go. Because we don't particularly need her. So there she goes. Off with her colony. Hopefully she can go into a chamber here soon. That way she'll be safe when we put this rock back. Even here you can find Tapanoma sessile. Just casually under rocks. All the way in Arizona. Just like I'm back home. <laughs> yeah, Tapanoma sessile. Nothing too interesting. I just thought it was uh, cool to show that uh, even in the mountains there still existence. Their existence is still existing. <laughs> that was stupid. Here we have a Novomester Cockerelli Queen. They are in fact flying currently. It has just rained. So we are currently looking around for them. And uh, yeah. Cool. I don't know if I've shown off Novomester Cockerelli Queens yet. 
But they pretty much just look like Nova Messer Albi, so, you know. That's cool. Oh, you look at that. Look There's at another one. All of these termites. What species is this? I this, think is this is a thamatermes. Yeah, nathamatermes. They're just taking over our light. <laughs> like, not only a few minutes ago, there was ants here. And now cool. it's just... Oh, there's a there's a chromato. That's the only ant I've seen so far. <laughs> what is this for doing? That is crazy. Sorry. Wow. All these rugulosa. There's a bunch of it away. That's finding. insane. Yeah. And that you also right here. Gave him some of yours. Oh, yeah. That really meant a lot to him. There we yeah. go. We got a ton more here. Yeah. Wow. He's like, wow, that's really cool. Really cool moth here. If it was to lift up its wings. Oh, it flew away. Okay, that's annoying. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah, with the Look at that beautiful, beautiful wings. But yeah, uh, black light session still actively going. There's tons and tons of stuff here. Tons. Lots and lots of termites still. Lots of, see here, Chromatogaster, we got some Fidole. Uh, there's a, just still the pile of Rugulosa. Good one. Sitting here. Nice. And yeah, it's just awesome. Here we have Lacey's Arizonicus. These guys are a uh, cool uh, Canthamyops parasite. Uh, are these one of the only ones in uh, Arizona? No, there's plenty. Ah, okay. They aren't that interesting then, technically. But yeah, these guys are really pretty. They're pretty much just they're here. Pretty cool, yeah. There's kind of Arizona social parasite Lacius. Neat. Pseudo Myrmex. Look at that. No colony or anything, just a light. Dude, they're so cool. I don't know what's being... I think this is Pallidus? Maybe. I'm not sure. Apache or something? Yeah, maybe Apache. Mm -hmm. but yeah, cool pseudo Myrmex. Been looking for those. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you liked it. Does like it, just like it. Subscribe if you're new. We only have three more days in Arizona. I'll try to get out another video. And, uh, yeah, that'll pretty much be the finale for this trip. So, uh, yeah, check out the links in the description, Discord, Patreon, Instagram, Psycho Channel, all that fun stuff. And I'll go ahead and talk to you guys in the next video. Bye bye